Hello, it is a waffle video. God knows what number. Um, just, yeah, a little quick check-in of what I've been reading, what I've been doing, I guess, <laughs> this week. I, and I should be more focused because, A, this is shorty September and I'm trying to do short videos. And I have an appointment in five minutes. So, zoom. Uh, that is uh, also a good time, good, good time cap on this whole thing. So... I've finished reading A Midsummer's Night's Dream, which was sort of uh, my Shake Shake Timber entry this week, which I really enjoyed. And I watched uh, the 1935 Midsummer Night's Dream. I might do a video on it. We shall see. I actually did a couple of videos on it already, but those are just <laughs> for my own personal amusement, apparently. Some videos you kind of get to the end of, end of and go, oh, that was an interesting talk for myself and we'll, we could be go on from there um i am in the middle of reading a like comment and subscribe inside is it what a uh, youtube's uh, chaotic rise to world domination which is more of a business book uh there's another non the other non-fiction book i'm reading is much more written and much more kind of a rich exploration of an inter of, of an internal life while this is much more of a business book, a much more of like what's happening on early YouTube, uh, both the creator, both the people who are, who are, who, who founded YouTube and also the, you know, the people who started using it. Uh, so like 16 years ago, some of which those videos are still present on YouTube. And it's always interesting to go back and watch them and go, Oh, well, everybody does that. It's like, yeah, but this is the, first people to do that and that's that's what that's what sort of makes them notable in their boy this is just everybody does this now back back then they were freaks that um people were wondering why on earth people would be filming themselves and putting it up online now i know um so yeah that i yeah and i've been reading uh the secret the uh, the the secrets of the flesh uh a uh a life of colette for my shorty september project um the secrets life of colette is really really well written uh judith thurman i think she was up for a national book prize for it and it is really doing a good job of fleshing out and kind of delving into this complex sometimes fairly unpleasant woman but also just like you know revolutionary woman there's there's one of those things of being in the right being the right person in the right time or being the right person in a wrong time when you want to be a full person and do what whatever you want um both professionally and personally and colette seems to have been that person in france and also someone who uh has an amazing talent for writing so yeah that that has all been that that has been a really good book to read in conjunction with this project of doing short videos on one specific work of hers on the tender shoot which i have to say is a project i've sort of hit a bit of a kind of a roadblock with not a roadblock but i'm i've made the first video and finally got it out and i've made a number of the other made a number of the other videos but uh, there's something about the subject matter, I guess, that is just, uh, it's, it's, it's grinding me down a bit, which is that the tender shoot is about this. It's a recollection from about 20 years earlier of this 50 year old guy going after a 15 year old, uh, country girl. And, you know, I, I think in the introductory video, I talk, I felt like it had very much a Lolita vibe to it though uh in lolita i think she was even she was younger even younger than that and you know there's an abduction there there's the whole sort of thing but it has that feel of it to me but you know the uncomfortable stuff about it is that that's not necessarily how colette viewed it and that's not necessarily how society viewed it and i'm really oh, there's my timer going off and i'm i'm not really sure how to handle that um you know i'm not okay with 50 year old guys um pursuing seducing and having 
intimate relations with 15 year old girls um and you know there's a part of that is like okay me really dwelling on and really kind of picking apart what is a really interesting amazing novella is how do i do that in a responsible way in a way that's not um that isn't creepy and that isn't going to be um isn't going to, I mean, people who are going to be outraged are going to be outraged, but also isn't going to, um, isn't going to appeal to the wrong audience, if you might want to put it that way. So, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I'm a fair, I'm a very blunt YouTuber. I don't, I, you know, me doing nuance, I try and do nuance, but I understand that I'm, I'm fairly, fairly blunt, which in some ways is also the medium, because I think if you're too nuanced, people will dismiss it. People are, I'm, uh, I am a bad, I am not that great of communicator. And a lot of people who watch videos, including myself, are not great listeners and will, will latch on to stuff that they don't, they want to hear, which I mean, I guess is one say to give myself excuse to say, do what you're going to do because people are going to take from what you you make what they take and you you can't control that you can you can try and be as thorough as possible i don't know so yeah that's where i am this week and now i better go and do my get to my appointment all right more videos later